Hi, I'm Michael. Welcome to Tamenuri Studio. Today I will show you how to disassemble pens, how to disassemble them and prepare them for urushi and for lacquering, or sometimes just for servicing or cleaning. Uh, some pens are extremely easy to disassemble and for example most of the bespoke um, pens made by pen makers, pen turners will be very easy to disassemble because they do not have any difficult parts like clips uh, or uh, rings or any trim. For example this one is a very simple ebonite pen which is well disassembled and you put it on sticks like those ones here and you're ready to go uh, but some are a little bit more complicated and you have to put some effort or know exactly what to do so let's go through them uh, one of the most uh, commonly lacquered pens with Urushi are Pelicans, especially 800 and 1000, and Montblancs. Montblancs 146 and 149. Uh, both are quite easy to disassemble. Um, in case of Pelican, it's very easy to just turn, screw out the nib unit, and then screw out the piston, uh, all the piston assembly. You can leave it as is and protect this area here, but it's much more uh, convenient to unscrew this. Happily, it's quite easy, especially in the M1000 and M800 series, because it's just a screw out model, uh, hold the piston uh, assembly. Uh, what I have here is the wrench which is provided by Twisby with all of their diamond pens and wax as far as I remember and it happened to fit piston assembly at Pelican perfectly. Uh, you have to remember that it screw, turns screws out in a probably in a different direction so this way so it's a wrong direction? Yes, it's a wrong direction. So it's clockwise is turning out, is screwing out. You just screw it out, remembering to not to dismantle the piston from the assembly. And here it is. Uh, much easier to lacquer this part without the piston uh, assembly in place. I put it back in. I just wanted to show you that it's easy and there is nothing to be afraid of. Uh, so, uh, turning the wrong way. Uh, but a little bit more complicated part is with the cup. Because the, you need to get rid, of, get rid of the clip. Actually, it's almost impossible to lacquer the cup if you cannot disassemble the clip from the cup. Because there is an area under the clip which cannot be lacquered and you cannot just move it around or something like that. You have to take it off. Uh, with all the pelicans it's quite easy because this part here, this crown uh, in M800 and M1000 series uh, here around this logo near the clip is, uh, is easy, quite easy to unscrew. Uh, sometimes you have to use uh, pliers like those ones with protected uh, ends and just be quite careful when doing this but it's it's doable even without any advanced tools okay and here it goes so you can unscrew this take off the clip take out the insides so the inner cup and you're ready to go mount everything on uh, stands and you can lacquer them. A little bit more complicated work is to be done with, uh, with uh, Mont Blancs and I will show it in a minute. Just will screw it back in place.
Okay. It's solid. With Mont Blancs, it's a little bit more complicated. As far as clip, it's much easier or quite easy to disassemble because inside the cup there is a screw. You know, it's different shape in different ages of uh, 149. It's 149 here, but it's very easy to unscrew. Once you unscrew it, you have the separate thingy all with the uh, snow cup logo or star logo, whatever you want to call it, and separate clip and separate the main part of the cup. Uh, th slightly bigger problem with, with, the, with the nib. I'm still waiting for my set of tools to uh, unscrew the nib. There are two different types of um, tools for nib units on 149. You have to know which one you need. So for uh, pieces older than 2000, uh, you need one with the symmetrical uh, symmetrical teeth for the notches here in the nib unit and after 2000 you need something slightly different so make sure which one you, would you, uh, you will need and piston assembly also unscrews exactly like on pelicans but there is no wrench here so you need there is a wrench but you need a wrench which catches two small uh, notches here two small holes in this metal in this metal uh, ring uh, to unscrew it. So for Mont Blancs you will need special tools but it's also quite easy to disassemble and it's also a good idea to clean the pen one, while you are doing so and to use some silicon grease on piston to make it work smooth and without any problems. Once you dis dismount such uh, parts, you have to decide whether you are going to mask the trim or not. I will talk about it in a minute, but I will show you some other pens which are easy or not easy to disassemble. For example, one of the easiest is uh, Omar's, um, well, uh, Opus 88 Omar, uh, which is very easy to disassemble. You just unscrew the section, unscrew the blind, maybe not blind, but a piston unit which operates the rod with a one-way shut off valve. You just unscrew the finial from the cup and oops, and you're ready. Uh, so very easy. Uh, by the way, you can modify Omar and make it a clipless pen easily because there is no notch here on the cup and uh, it becomes a clipless pen. Uh, some people prefer clipless, so it's a good idea to try it. Not all Opus 88 pens are so easy. For example, in Bella there is no way to unscrew the cup finial and it's glued in place or cemented in place. I don't know, but it's impossible to remove it. I tried and I scratched it, so be careful. Uh, and some other depending on the age of the pen. So for example, the demonstrator uh, Opus 88 demonstrator uh, is some of them are easy to disassemble and some of them are same story with the Bella so the finial is glued or cemented in place. Another Pelican also very easy to disassemble but removing the piston assembly is much more difficult you cannot just unscrew it you have to push it out from inside it also depends on the age of the pen and uh, and the construction of this one is 250, uh, M250. Uh, some pens, for me, I don't know how to disassemble clips. For example, this is, uh, this is Schaeffer uh, Legacy 2, so with the touchdown filling system. Uh, and I didn't know, it, first of all, it's impossible to disassemble the nib from this section here. So the nib is one piece with the section. I don't know how to do this, even if, it's, if is it possible or not, I don't think so. So there is no way to lacquer this part. Uh, you can lacquer the barrel and same story with the clip. I don't know how to remove this clip. It's a spring-loaded clip, something much more complicated inside. I was worried to destroy it, so I decided just to make Radden around this white metal band. Uh, another pen, Twisby. Twisby is designed to be disassembled by a user. Uh, there is a wrench provided, so it's 
needless to say, it's quite easy. You just screw out this piston assembly here, screw out the section, dismantle the uh, dismount the nib unit, which is also which also unscrews, and uh, you're ready to go. Same with the cap, and you just need to cover the trim or cover it with urushi. Uh, another pen, Parker 51. The cup is metal, the clip is possible to disassemble, but you have to drill out the rivet as far as I remember. But still you can lacquer both the section and the barrel easily, because this part just unscrews with a little bit of heat and, and uh, careful approach, and you can easily lacquer it. Most of pens like Franklin Christoph or Edison, like this one here is a Edison Collier, uh, are possible to disassemble. I called, I talked to Edison uh, guys and they said that this finial is unscrewable, so I can unscrew it, but it's very difficult to put it back together. So match it with the, watch the pattern and make this space disappear. But when you're lacquering it with Urushi, it does not matter. So if you want to lacquer your Edison, it's easy. Maybe not easy, but it's possible to unscrew this finial and the rest of the pen is quite simple and easy to, to disassemble. Pen which is not easy to disassemble and uh, I did it and I scratched the finial was the, or is a uh, Sailor uh, nine, uh, 1911 and I scratched this finial, uh, it was on the cup, I wanted to remove the clip and it was very difficult to unscrew it. I used those pliers, I used those pliers and heat, it was difficult and on some pieces it's extremely difficult to unscrew it for the first time. It's just a metal screw which sits inside but still it was very difficult but I wasn't very worried about scratching it because I was going to lacquer it anyway. But here it is, it's disassembled and all the trim I wanted to stay on the pen. So the small metal ring around the finial, this big ring here uh, are masked and everything else. And this one, this narrow ring here is also masked with a tape. And the rest of the pen is just lacquered with base layers and will be sanded, maybe not after this one, but after the next one it will be sanded flat and I will move on to middle layers. Okay, and another pen which is possible to disassemble but it's quite difficult, it's Pilot Custom, Pilot Custom 743 and uh, the same, same is with uh, 912 or 911, so it's possible to disassemble, but sometimes it's very difficult to, to turn, to screw out this finial on the cup to remove the clip. And again, you have to decide what trim you leave, what trim you cover. Uh, pen, which is impossible to disassemble because of the construction of the cup, is quite popular, but, uh, Platinum uh, 3776, uh, the cup uh, the cup includes the slip and seal mechanism and the uh, finial after the slip, uh, slip and seal mechanism is installed is probably glued in place and I didn't find anyone who successfully removed this finial, so successfully removed the clip from the cup. So uh, unless you have the access to factory parts, it's impossible to disassemble the cup on this pen and it's a pity because it's a nice pen to to be lacquered and I still, um, I'm still looking for a solution for this problem. If you have one, please contact me or write in a comment how to do this. Some pens are quite complicated and here it is. One of them, it's a Leonardo limited edition uh, Titan Pen Show 219. Uh, I received it from the pen board from Tom Besterich and it's a limited edition of only 60 pieces and I happen to have two of them right now, both Ebonite. One looks like this, it's a piston filler uh, with a one piece cup and clip sticking out of the cup at, the, at, uh, at this point, metal, silver, sterling silver band and another small ring here and some 
uh, imprint on the barrel. So it looks quite complicated uh, with ebonite feed and cold nib. So feed and nib is quite easy, you just uh, pull it out. I will show you the tools you should use not to destroy anything. So such grip is very handy uh, in uh, playing with especially expensive nibs and expensive pens. Uh, I will not force it, I will do this later, but I, well, it's possible. You unscrew the section, you unscrew the nib, the piston assembly, uh, and you have to be careful, but it's possible because piston assembly is a two-part mechanism. And then you remove this piston part separate this small metal clip which is a uh, small metal rod which is inside this uh, this uh, blind this cup uh, or or knob and it's very easy to to put it apart and to prove it i will show you the version i'm lacquering the piece i'm lacquering right now the trim is uh, masked with tape and it's in five pieces so it's a cup with the clip removed, I will tell you in a moment how the barrel, one piece of the knob, second piece of the knob, and the section, including the nib housing. And okay, to remove the clip from the cup, you have to unscrew the small plastic, plastic or metal, I don't remember, the small screw which is inside this cup. You have to, you need some light. Uh, which is very small source of light, just put some light inside, find the screw, unscrew it and just uh, move the clip out and mask the trim. For masking the trim it's very handy to have quite a lot of different tapes. Uh, a good source of tapes for masking the trim is tape used by people who lacquer cars, so automotive uh, shops and tape for lacquering Cars, they come in very different widths. It comes in the, the, sh the narrowest I found was three millimeter, but I also cut some other tapes to, to, to size I need. For example, to cover such a narrow, such a narrow uh, ring on the pen, you need just one millimeter of tape. So you have to cut it yourself or, or directly on the pen or before you apply it. So I use Scotch Blue. I use uh, Japanese washi tape uh, designed for masking. I use uh, much more delicate Tessa pink, uh, and I use some 3M uh, electrical tape because it's elastic and it allows me to stretch it, stretch it a little bit and to adopt to the different shapes of the pen much easier. Other tools I show you showed you before, so it's uh, pliers. Uh, with uh, protected, uh, protected uh, jaws, uh, not to scratch anything, such pads like foam, foam rubber pads for removing parts, uh, has some heat source, and for masking the scalpel or any other extremely sharp and small narrow blade to cut tape and to cut the tape on the pen very closely to the trim, not destroying anything on the pen. Uh, other pens I know to be possible or easy to disassemble, especially disassemble the clip. Uh, I, have a, I have a list here, it's Aurora Talentum, Aurora Optima, all Conits of course, all Conit bulk fillers, uh, all of them are easy to disassemble and they even provide the tools for it. Most Franklin Christophs and Edison's, uh, Montblanc's 146, 149, uh, Mont Blanc Bohem is not, it's impossible to disassemble it. Pelicans, most of them, uh, Pilot Custom, one, uh, 742, 743, 910, 911, 912, Pilot, uh, Pilot again, but Custom Urushi is impossible to disassemble, but disassembling Urushi pen to lacquer it with Urushi makes little sense. Platinum 3776, impossible to disassemble the clip, but Platinum Izumo, it is possible and quite easy. Uh, same with Platinum President, it's also m much similar to the Pilot and uh, Sailor I showed you before. Sailor Cop, very easy to disassemble, 
and the same with Pro Gear, sometimes difficult to remove the finial on the cup to remove the clip. And some uh, pens are obvious, uh, obviously not easy or impossible to disassemble, and those are most of uh, Viscontis, especially Homo sapiens, because and all of the Viscontis with spring-loaded clip, they are very difficult to disassemble because the mechanism of this clip is somehow hidden and uh, you have to need special tools to remove them. That's it. I hope it is useful and you will use some of the tricks and uh, ideas I show you uh, in your projects. And uh, please like this video, leave a comment, especially if you know something about disassembling pens and removing the clips from the pens and masking the trim I don't know or I didn't mention. I will be grateful for any tips and tricks. And uh, see you next time. Subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.